The rugby season may have ended, but we have one game left. It's President's Day here in Hartlepool Rugby Club, celebrating 30 years. We should be in store for an exhibition of rugby today, and it's coming next on Kino Sport. I think it's an absolutely amazing place at the moment. It's, I mean, I joined the club in '79, so I was here for the first uh, anniversary, well, the first President's Day. Uh, Keith Dobson was the president then, and he still comes in the club now. Bless his cotton socks, he can't hear a word you say because he's deaf as a pole. The, the first President's Day was in '93, um, and I got asked to start a junior team because we didn't have any junior teams at the time. Um, and it's just sort of, it's not just like through me, I think it's through the work of all of our volunteers over the years and especially the likes of Stuart Hine um, who's uh, junior director of rugby um, he's just pushed it so hard to, to get the junior section up and running well we had our team in, in 92 and 93 up to Bladen and we've seen all the kids teams all around the pictures and we thought that's that, I would love our club to be like that and that is it now we've got 270 kids socially um, we've got football teams hockey teams We've got a Premier League darts team. Um, just, it's so vibrant at the moment. It's really, it's really good place to be. And they're pushing the women's game as well in recent years. Oh yeah, um, yeah. Um, Dave Stubbs, who was uh, running the, the Premier League team at West, we we got to the point of going into um, like the Prem Two, and we'd have to travel down to Harlequins and Wasps and places like, and it was just the commitment. Um, but then Liam seen the opportunity to get the. The ladies team going again um, and it started with the ladies team just touched the start off with just little taste of sessions and now we've got them turn out we beat Pontelan yesterday 26 17 our academy the girls academy it's just it's is it's immense it's uh, and we all know blokes are lazy buggers and, uh, and I think having the ladies involved in the club as well is that's another section of our volunteers that they just we can't do it without them and the coaches as well like Liam puts a big shift in David Castle White. Uh, Jim Fox, um, she got a uh, Town Award for like, one of the coaches, like a coaches award, uh, recognising uh, what she's done to develop the game. Um, her husband Kevin, who runs a team with her. Um, yeah, you're right. You can just. I'm going to miss out somebody. Yeah, and if someone absolutely. sees this interview, they'll go, "What about me?" <laughs> so what? What you expect to see today? I expect us to. We're a good team. Um, if we turn up, uh, we can beat most teams. Um, if we turn up, yeah, it'll be a really good game. Yeah. It, it doesn't, I don't think the, the ground suits us because we're a fast team, we're a fast moving team and it looks a bit boggy out there today. Yeah, yeah. We've got some lads who can do the donkey work um, and if we release our wingers, we've got lads on the under 20s county team there who are just rockets. Thank you very much for your time. Quite all right. Really appreciate Thank it. You all the best. Enjoy the rest of your day. Lovely. Bye Thank bye you. now. Bye now. Is it going to be an exhibition of rugby? Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. you know what I mean? The thing is, uh, merely enjoyment. You know what I mean? Let's get the guys out there, centre season, so have a competitive but enjoyable match. And I think that's the main thing. You know what I mean? If we all leave the pitch, we're all happy. We give 100%. If we don't pick any injuries up, that's me. Yeah. So, Would you, how intense do you think it might be if it's a close game coming to last, that, that last five minutes? We all want to win, don't we? We all want to win. There's not many teams that don't want to win, you know what I mean? So, yes, it's a friendly, but you tell me you're friendly in rugby. Perfect, thank you very much thank for your time, that was brilliant. Cheers, Cheers now, thank all you. the best.
guys use the line Come on, let's see, it's 
Move it! Frankie, move it!
James. So long, James.
interesting obviously you've got loads of lads thrown in from completely different backgrounds you've got people who play different levels of league rugby different clubs different ethoses all those different characters but for me anything involved in the county at the end of the year is, you know, it's a bit of a privilege because you don't get to play games with no pressure uh, you know there's nothing riding on the game apart from trying to get the win and perform together on the day which fortunately the day we did and it was really enjoyable we actually put together more or less exactly what we tried to do I actually think playing against the bank work for us because it meant that we had to keep the ball in hand a little bit um, but as you say uh, some idiot give a bit of an intercept pass towards the end of the first half uh, it made the game a bit closer it did yeah and um, I think uh, obviously kept them interested turned the momentum a bit and the second half was a bit of a dog fight but we stuck in it and where we need to be. Well, thank you so much for taking your time. On behalf of the PFC Trust, as a man of the match, you do get a little hand first shot. Oh, That's for you.